while she was one of TV's most iconic characters, June Brown will forever be remembered as the chain-smoking laundrette boss, Doc Cotton, who we love so dearly. Uh, and she played her, of course, for 35 years. Well, as you know, tributes have just been pouring in uh, for the EastEnders actress, uh, who died at the age of 95. We're going to be talking to John Altman, who, of course, played her on-screen son, Nasty Nick. But before that, let's have a, a quick look at some of their most memorable moments together. Well, John, who played Nick Cotton, uh, Nasty Nick, who's far from it in real life, joins us now. Good to see... Uh, what is it like seeing those scenes? I'm sure they're burnt into your memories and, and mind anyway, but it, it's strange to see it knowing that she's no longer with us, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. Um, treasured moments for me in my career. Such mm -hmm. a joy to work with her. She was... Uh... Older than me, so she was more experienced. So she'd, she'd guide me sometimes. She'd say, slow down a bit on that, dear, you know. And we used to meet, you know, what soaps are like. We, we, you go in and you kind of, you know, it's, quite, it's pretty fast compared to a movie. Yeah. So we would go in early and when I used to smoke, we'd go in, and, <laughs> we'd go in her dressing room and spend an hour having a coffee and a, cig a few ciggies just going over and over it. So when we got on the floor, we were right on it, you know. Oh, and we, or we when did you, you last see her? When did you last see uh, her? It was probably about a month ago, yeah. And how was she? She was a bit... She was tired, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a bit like my own mother. I think she... You could see she was, she'd was. she slowed right down. Mm. And um, I'm, I'm, I would like to say uh, um, that's so much thanks and, and, and God bless her family who've been fantastic, rallying round her, mm. Nim and Lou and all the rest of the family. They, they've taken great care of her. She didn't have to go into a home or anything, so... Excellent. She spent her last days in her lovely home in... Excellent. In the Surrey Hills there. Which is lovely. I was, going, I was going to ask you, you sort of pre pre prefaced it with, with your opening remarks there, about working with someone like that on absolutely pivotal scenes in mm. a soap like EastEnders, when EastEnders was even bigger than it is now. I mean, it was yes. absolutely massive, yes. you know. Um, and you say that you used to spend an hour or so in the dressing room together, mm. uh, not just presumably going through the lines together and, and running the scene, but, but discussing it, almost like two directors, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, because we knew the characters so well and so many different writers, occasionally things that wouldn't be quite right, you know, like... Right. Uh, um, 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 would you mind putting the kettle on, Mother? You know, Nick wouldn't say, I'm <laughs> the kettle on, Ma. You know, well, yeah. well, you know, so things like that. And, and, and June was a real stickler for the script being right, you know. And when and, you'd finished shooting a scene that you'd spent so long in private preparing for, the mm. scenes, for example, that we, we showed there, what did you do? High five? Um, you know, mm. what, what, was the, what was the mood like once it was... And cut. Well, uh, I mean, the last scene we did together was a very emotional uh, affair. And the floor manager said... I'm, I, I, I saw I never set, shed a tear on the floor, you know, hardened production people, you know. Yeah, yeah. But she said, I, but I did today. Wow. That was the last, after 35 years together, June and I. Timeless, on, on and off, you know. Timeless question I mean, question she was to so you. beloved oh. as Doc Cotton, wasn't she? And in ev most people's minds, that was the iconic role that she played. Yes, Although yeah. I had played many others as well. How different was June Brown to Doc Cotton? Yeah. Good question. I would say June Brown was, um, what can I say, uh, in a higher class, <laughs> a be better spoken, which you've not seen in some interviews. She's got a, a beautiful voice, very, very well spoken, dressed well, um, not dowdy in any way, very smart lady. Uh, so, yeah, more upper middle class than working class, I guess I should say. I heard someone on the, on, on the breakfast radio show I listened to uh, coming in this morning saying that, that they remember being a schoolgirl um, at the time of, of, of Doc Cotton's absolute reign supreme on EastEnders. Mm. And they saw June uh, making a visit to a friend of hers in the next street. And there were a bunch of these schoolgirls at the bus stop. And they went mad. They went absolutely mad. And she said that June's reaction was lovely. She, mm. was, she waved at them, she offered autographs, all that yeah. kind of thing. How did she wear her fame? Because it was massive. She was a household name very quickly. Oh, she embraced it, because she'd, uh, she'd been in the business quite a long time. And I, I used to tell her off, i said, say, June, you can't do any more charities. <laughs> she said, oh, dear, I have to. You know, she, she, loved the, she supported the donkeys, amongst many others, you know, children with cancer, uh, the taverners, etc. So, uh, yeah, she just couldn't say no to no. charity requests. Did she enjoy uh, being famous? I think so, yeah, yeah, because she's a very sociable lady, you know. Yeah. I, well, in fact, when we'd finished to see the, our, our morning scenes, we'd walk to the uh, canteen at the BBC and I would, it would always take uh, about half an hour because she'd stop along the way <laughs> chatting to people, uh -huh. chatting away, chatting away. And uh, I was just uh, amazing memories. And she, she's so, uh, so, so kind. She used to say healing prayers, actually. 
did but, she? Yeah, she was, she was quite spiritual. She, I mean, she didn't go to church, as far as I can remember, but she definitely believed in, say, a higher power, mm -hmm. you know, some, something more than, than, than we know, perhaps, mm -hmm. something that a lot of religions are based on, perhaps. No names and no pectoral, but over the years, I've interviewed soap stars who will admit privately to loathing the characters that they play, ah. absolutely loathing mm. them. I'm sure you know you have mm. colleagues who feel the same. What did she think of Dot? Oh, I just think I think she probably just she <laughs> could have felt quite sorry for her. Probably, <laughs> I don't know. What she, I think, I, I, like, like myself with Nick, yeah, I think you have to love your character certain, to a certain extent. That's how I feel as an actor, anyway. Mm. And uh, and I think probably there was something that, that some kind of magic was created between the two of us with the writing and things we put in. Yes, I mean I put mm. things, little things in, like the way Nick smoked a cigarette. You know. <laughs> That's right, you know, that's right. Little, little yeah. gestures like that. People used to, used, to, used to come up and do it to me, you know. <laughs> and, uh, of course, all, how's your ma, you know. So many people would, would say that wherever, wherever right? even to this day, you know. And, uh, yeah, so it's... Um, some of, some and the comedy as well between the two. Yes, yeah. there was. There was a lot of fun and laughter that yeah. you felt the audience was part of. Us as viewers were part of a slight in-joke almost, which was, which was a gift, actually, mm. for the soap. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, yeah, we, we were a good team, definitely. Yeah. What will you, uh, what will you miss most about her? <sighs> She's a dear friend, someone I could confide in, really? and probably my, my, my second mother, really. And my real mother said she looked more like my mother than she did. <laughs> <laughs> so casting-wise, you can't beat that. Uh, I have to say that June also had a, a, a great knowledge, uh, like, like a taxi driver, because she had to drive herself from Surrey all the way up to Boreham Wood and back for years, for ages. And one time I drove her home after a charity we'd done at the studio, and she said, right, dear, turn left there, turn right there, go down there, hit, go down, right round there. And, and she was <laughs> extraordinary. She, she knew all these back roads because she'd driven she so knowledge. much. Huh? <laughs> She'd done the knowledge, yeah, she, and, and she told me off. She used to tell me off sometimes. She, um, <clears throat> she, when I gave up smoking, I was quite, quite grouchy, and she said, "Oh dear, I think you should go back on them. You're so grumpy, <laughs> you know." <laughs> and uh, but anyway, yeah, I managed to stop, which, which was good. In the well, it's lovely well, to talk to you about you, her, yeah. um, and I, I do like what you said there that you could confide in her because that's one of the great gifts of friendship, isn't it? Mm. You've got someone. That yeah. you can really tell everything to. Yes. That, that's special. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's great to talk to you. She'll that's be great. Thank you very much. Money. Good mm. to talk to you. Oh.